Hey Salivas, this is Super Oh My God Barbecue, and today I am in LA. Yes, you may may or not know if you've been following me on Twitter. I am at E3 in Los Angeles, and this is something of a uh, childhood dream to be out here. So I am in incredibly good mood, and also incredible jet lag. At the moment, you may be seeing my face and thinking, why has he got bags underneath there? Well, I tell you now, it's because my sleep pattern is just all over the place. Just earlier on, I was watching SmackDown Live. Two minutes later on, I've fallen asleep. And that's not just because Shane McMahon's on TV. But it has been absolutely phenomenal. And I'll tell you guys more about how it happened after a couple of days, but... Uh, it's going to be awesome. Obviously, the biggest problem with that is a brand new tier has been released. But, like I put on Twitter earlier on, if life gives you some very nice and rich lemons, you got to go make some lemonade on crack. Because that's the kind of opportunity I've been given. But let's get started and say if you're excited for the brand new tier, you guys know what to do. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Let's get as many as possible. But the biggest thing is if you want to make sure you don't miss a single video of the brand new tier, Cataclysm, or alternatively, as people on Twitter are calling it, Cat Tier, we're going to have a, a Cat Tier, then make sure you subscribe to the channel by pressing that big red button that's just down here. And turn the notifications on so you don't miss a single video whilst you're there. Small thing before we get started, if you watched E3, let me know in the comments section below what game you're looking most forward to now that most of the shows have been on. I've got to say, haven't played it, I'm looking forward to Borderlands 3. And on top of that, I'd say Breath of the Wild 2. Well, it looks like anyway, but I don't think it'll be called that. Uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield. Um, I'm thinking other games, uh, Cyberpunk. Uh, there, there's a few others. I was looking forward to the Avengers game, and then I saw the trailer and was like, and uh, I'll just I'll pass that, thanks. We had a very cool little event this week, team event, which is the Shayna Baszler. And I, I mean, I'm just going to put this, this is my experience, okay? I spent God knows how many credits on packs during this tier. In fact, there was one very, very good example of where I spent about 50,000 credits on Becky Lynch and Ronda Rousey packs to try and get myself some female pros. And I only got and got them free of charge because Shayna Baszler was one of my King of the Rings at the beginning of the tier and is one of the team events this week because she retained her NXT Championship. On top of that, I then got the pro if you haven't seen it. Well, spoiler alert, we got a pro here as well. One of which is ready to go. And we're going to go and pro, power, and charisma. She is an absolute babe. We're going to love her. And we're going to go, we're going to go speed as well. We're going to go speed. She's, a, she's an ultra powered card. I mean, any of the fusion cards pretty much freestyle most cards. The only ones that don't freestyle are the Hall of Fame and uh, throwbacks. So power, charisma, and speed. There we go. I'm going to tell you who she'd go amazingly with. If you, anyone's got like the uh, the Becky Lynch from the uh, the art collection, the Rob Schamberger stuff, this card would go crazy with that. And uh, combine this is a video. Video? Combine the pro, Billy K. There she is. Look at that pro fusion. Right on time as well with the brand new tier. Literally hours away as this video goes live. Let's lock in Biddy K. We're obviously going to change her image. I'm interested to see, by the way, how what this one looks like with the pro image. Oh, God, that looks beautiful. Beautiful. Mwah. Some of my favorite card images, by the way, are from the WrestleMania 34 Fusions. We've got so many cards to get rid of here. Uh, I'm going to get rid of Nikki Cross and Carl Anderson and Chad Gable. There we go, we've got so many cards to get rid of. So there she is, a absolute powerhouse of a card. She kicks so much ass. There we go, power, charisma, charisma, charisma? Power, charisma, and a bit of the proc as well. I'm just gonna introduce you to something which is one of the most stupid things I've ever seen. I made a little bit of a complaint about it on Twitter and some people were like, 
Oh my god, well, why are you complaining about it? Because it doesn't bother you. I've just increased my credits to 50,000 for the new tier because we are going to have a back opening. It's gonna happen, boys and girls. You guys know it, and you've got so much to look forward to. And then I press this, and what? Really? Three packs are barred from your account if you've got over 50k credits. Really? Supercard? Really? That is a joke. Especially when you've got the special events going on. So, for example, I couldn't get myself any more free reveals or blocks in LMS this week. Talking about LMS, nice little transition there. Our last man's dining rewards. Now, if you're in my stream, we did it on Twitch. Oh my dear Jesus, I was out, I was 12,000 on the Sunday. 12,000. How do we do? Well, 136. We didn't even go crazy on credits. It was a very slow and quiet last man standing. I don't know who finished first. So props to whoever finished in the top 100. Uh, me getting this now, I didn't manage to get past Arena 8, no, 91. I think I stopped uh, before I got on the plane over to the States. So I think this will be better than a Heroic Pro. I'm pretty sure. Let's go claim it. Mech Foley. Well, Mankind, and I have to say, where's the portrait pack for this, this, this amazing card? Where's the portrait pack? Where is it, Supercard? Where is it? I want Mrs. Foley's baby boy, all right? And a mess rewards 136 in the world. Mankind. I like it. I like it a lot. Let's go. We've got a new star, which didn't show up when we did 50k for some reason. And let's go and go to recent. There we go. There he is. Let's check out some of the images on this card. Uh, we've got the Mankind from... This is the one from the... Is this the last one? Yeah, this is the last. I'm trying to think. He did have a... He did have a card, didn't he? Another NMS card. He didn't have another NMS card, did he? No, this is... This is that's, oh, he had an ultimate. Because I think ultimate cards now are... Um, yeah, she, he had an ultimate event card. That that's actually looked really, really cool. Uh, the the throwback looks really cool. We've got the this is the one from the throwbacks back in season three, no four, sorry. And then you got this card that looks absolutely horrendous. So I am going to go. I could go with this for like the portrait pack, or I could go with this one. And I feel I'm gonna go with that one purely because, uh, no, no, I'm gonna go with this one because it's a season three event card. There is no way that most people are gonna have access to it. So I'm gonna stick with that one. Mrs. Funny's baby boy. And I almost left it. And then I remembered I've got so many pros here I need to get rid of before the new, would actually during when the new tier goes live. I will be streaming live on Twitch, by the way, when the new tier goes live. Apparently, there's going to be maintenance at uh, 10 a.m. Pacific time, which for anyone in the UK is like 6 o'clock in the afternoon or evening, whatever you want to count it as. And for anyone in Eastern, it's like 1 o'clock in the afternoon. And then apparently the new tier goes live two or three hours afterwards, they reckon. Uh, so that's how my last man standing card looks without any training. It's a Power Toughness and Charisma card. Now, I'm thinking, should I put more on the Charisma than the Power? No, you know, we're going to just stick to that. Power Toughness and Charisma, nice and simple. Uh, he already is a ridiculously overpowered card. He's got so much leveling to do as well. He's all, damn, he's not even in a momentum slot and he beats a heroic pro when neither. So he's already good and that's actually really, really impressive. So once he's fully leveled up, I'll have him available for use in my King of the Ring deck. Nice little segue again. There has been a big announcement that I actually didn't know about this. And I'll be honest with you, I got access to the cards. Yeah, as being a little bit of a, I don't know, a little secret squirrel as such. 
I've been holding back on that details detail since like Saturday. I had access to those cards as of Saturday, so I could have revealed those then, but I, I kept it secret. I kept it secret so you guys got a little bit of a surprise. And I was under a contract as well. But I didn't know that they were going to be increasing the card limit, which is a huge, massive update that's coming in now. And they said they're still working on something, a more permanent solution. But that helps me at no end because, yes, I've got a lot of WrestleMania 35 Pros. And once they're gone, my card limit's going to go down. But there's still a lot of cards, especially the last band standing ones, which are probably the most expensive. I don't like the fact that I'm going to go crazy for a card that I have to delete. You know, I have to delete other last man standing cards, and I want those as a reminder of how much I've played. I like it, but I think that they, you know, the thing is, it, it's coming across to me that they can't just make no limit for it. Maybe they're looking at like a more permanent solution for season six. Will it even be a season six, or is it going to be a case of a brand new game, or are they just going to reset it back to season one? Like a five, I don't know, season one, two, I don't know, <laughs> whatever you want to go, you guys want to call it. I, I still, I still don't know what's going to go on. It certainly seems like it, there's a bit more than just a new season coming along. And maybe this is the last tier, instead of SummerSlam being the last tier, but I discussed that in detail in my last video. So let me know what you think about this Browns new card limit coming in, 50 extra, maybe they'll up the enhancement limit. That's the one thing they could do right now, right? That's the one thing they could do, is just make there no enhancement limit. Surely, surely the enhancement limit can is something you can make infinite. Even if it's like a double to 200 or something like that. You know, another alternative would be just to not have an extra like 20 or 30 or 40 of the same enhancements on the screen. Just put X20 or however many duplicates people have got in their enhancements. So if you've got 20 WrestleMania 35 powers, put a WrestleMania 35 power with the letter next to it, or the, not letter, the number next to it, 20. So people can decide if they want to get rid of so many other items. That's just a thought though. If you like what you see in this video and you're excited for the brand new tier, which is just hours away, make sure you smack that like button. Like stepping into a slim gym. Subscribe to the channel by pressing the big red button and turning notifications on. And comments in the comment section of what's been your favorite game of V3 so far. And you know, I'm going to throw another one out there. If you could change one thing about Supercar, one thing, let us know in the comments down below. So I've been Super Zombie God Barbecue. You have been awesome. And apparently I've been kicked out of WWE Supercard for some reason. I hope you guys have an amazing, amazing rest of the week. And make sure you don't miss my stream tomorrow when the new tier goes live. We're going to be doing the freebies. We're going to be doing the CP packs, the ticket packs. We're going to be doing absolutely everything. And of course, a pretty wicked pack opening. So the Twitch link will be down in the description and comment section below. But until then, one last thing, and that is to...